First on Local 22, the Burlington City Council began its first meeting of the new year with a vote to confirm its new interim police chief. Jennifer Morrison was confirmed unanimously after facing questions from the council, many of them focusing on the Burlington Police Department's social media fallout. Local 22's Devin Bates joins us now live from downtown Burlington with more. Devin? Well, Morrison comes into this job with years of experience and fresh out of retirement, having served as Colchester Police Chief from 2013 to 2018. She also spent 23 years with the Burlington Police Department from 1990 to 2013. Now you can see her here getting sworn in by Deputy John Murad as former Chief Kevin Scully congratulates her. And as you mentioned, the vote was unanimous, but there were tough questions from some of the city's progressive counselors who have also been the most vocal in their criticism of the police department as the anonymous social media scandal has developed. Now Morrison said she's not getting into debates about what's happened in the department over the past year and that improving communications, rebuilding trust and preparing the city for a new chief are her top priorities. I can tell you that when I make a mistake or when something goes wrong under my watch, my mantra is own it, fix it, and move on. I really believe that it is my job to get to, get to work and triage because there's an awful lot of balls in the air right now. But right now, what's happening inside the four walls of One North Avenue needs to be shored up, and that's job one. Now, she will only be serving for four to six months, and during that time, of course, the search for a permanent chief will start. That's actually beginning in earnest this month. There is a yet-to-be-scheduled public forum that's going to take place held by the Police Commission for community input, and then a group of stakeholders will be made up, again, with the Police Commission, the Burlington Police Officers Association, and City Council as they get ready for a first round of interviews. But for right now, we're live in Burlington. Devin Bates, Local 22 News.